Hi everybody and welcome back to our series on overcoming life obstacles. Today, we're gonna to talk about intelligent actions. Well, here's the deal, most of us, we take action. However, do we choose the wisest action for each situation? I don't know, but intelligent action, well, it can only result from accurate perception. It's only through taking consistent, intelligent actions that obstacles can really be overcome. So intelligent action often requires courage because the most effective actions, they might not be, well, let's just face it, they might not be the easiest thing. It's possible, but it's just gonna be hard. All right, so what help us get started on intelligent actions today, and Theodore Roosevelt said something I thought was cool. He said, we either wear out or we rust out. <laughs> getting busy is important because hey, check this out you can't think an obstacle away you have to start somewhere so get started often the best solutions won't present themselves until you make a few efforts that's just a nice way of saying do something <laughs> all right so you can only make progress if you're actually doing something so I've got a few things here I want to help you out with in a list number one realize that getting started is often the hardest part. You know what I'm talking about. You got the plans, right? You're thinking about doing it. So whether it's cleaning out the shed, maybe it's doing uh, income taxes, or maybe solving world hunger, there's all kinds of things we can do to get started with. Nothing happens until you take action. In most, ca in most cases, sooner is much better than later. Gotta get it started. Number two keep moving right you got to keep moving you got to keep moving on with what you're doing how many times have you been so stoked to start only to quit after a short period of time hmm. see a little progress a little progress could be a dangerous thing it's easy to become excited after taking those first few steps <laughs> but overcoming obstacles it requires an ongoing effort it's not just a few steps you got to do the whole thing all right, so doing something each day to move beyond your challenge. Once you have a small amount of momentum, here's what you do. <laughs> Avoid allowing it to slip away. Keep pressing in. Keep thinking that while you're moving, right? While you're moving, you keep on thinking because you can walk and chew gum at the same time. You can think and you can plan while you're taking action. It's possible. We could do it. Number three, increase your effort. Whew. All right, here's the deal. It's easy to be busy and get a little bit accomplished. Right? Look around your workplace. Here's most employees, they have, they've got their routine down to a science. You know what they're doing, you keep your head down at your desk, you shuffle some papers, you check your email when nobody's looking, and, and you wait for the clock to hit five, or six, or 4.30, or whatever time you get off. <laughs> when did you put your best effort in to anything last? Your best. See, we're so used to operating at 10%, we forget what 100% or even 50% feels like anymore. When was the last time? So providing you're taking intelligent action, an increase in your effort will increase your results exponentially. I know it sounds stupid, but it's so true. All right, number four. Understand that the circumstances will never be perfect. There's no perfect time. There will always be some aspect of the current situation that is not perfect, less than ideal. The fact that you're not 100% ready, it isn't a viable excuse for failing to take action. Stop. Momentum is self-created. Get started so you can get finished. If you're ready to get started and flip the script on life as you know it, DM me here on LinkedIn or message me through mattcrump.tv. See, it's my passion to help you achieve your number one goal by overcoming these life obstacles we've been talking about in a way that opens up a life of abundance and opportunity that's completely available for you. I'll look for you the next time.